Hi Year 12s, I'm going to give you a little bit of help on the homework that was due on Thursday, I think it's 7th, 6th of uh, October and I set it on the 1st, okay? Um, and it's just using the rule for differentiation when we have got um, fractions and roots and mixing up with some um, constants. And so that tends to confuse people a little. So let's just remember what the rule is. I'll just jot it down at the top. So if we have got y is some function of uh, some power of x, then dy by the x becomes we bring the power down, we write x, and we reduce the power by one. So that means that we need to have everything in this format before we can start to differentiate. Okay? So these formats are not helpful. So the first step is always to write everything that involves an x as a power of x instead. Okay, so y is going to equal, remember, 1 over is negative power. Okay, and this is the third root of x. So that's x to the power a third. Remember, flower power underground roots. So the root is on the bottom of the fraction there. Right, so now I'm ready to differentiate. So we've got dy by dx. We bring down the power, so that's negative 3. We write x, and we reduce the power by 1. So remember, negative 3, take away 1, is negative 4. And we've got a plus. The next one, we bring down the power, so that's a third. We write x, and then we reduce the power by 1. So 1 third, take away 1 whole, is negative 2 thirds. Okay? Let's look at the next one. They get gradually harder. So here, we need to first write it in the format we like. So remember, this is 5 times 1 over x squared. Okay, so 5 times 1 over x squared. And this is 6 times root x. So now if I write those as powers of x, instead we've got 5 times x to the negative 2 plus 6 times x to the power of half. So when we differentiate, we're going to get 5 times whatever the derivative is, plus 6 times whatever that derivative is. Okay? So I've got 5 times, and now I bring down the power. Okay? I write x, and I reduce the power by 1. Okay? Plus 6 times, I bring down the power, I write the x, and I reduce the power by 1. Okay, so then we tidy up at the end, so that's negative 10, x to the minus 3, plus 3, x to the minus a half. You can write that as a fraction and not as a root if you want, but you don't have to, so I would just move on. Okay, so let's look at the next one. So I'm just going to move the paper a little bit. Okay, so again we've got fractions and roots, I'm going to split off them and... Um, the constants first, so you can see what's going on. So we've got y is 3 over 2 times 1 over x squared. Okay? Plus, this is root 5 times root x. Okay? So now we can write our x's as powers of x. So we've got 3 over 2, x to the minus 2, plus root 5 times x to the half. All right, now we're in a position where we can differentiate. So we've got 3 over 2 times, and now we use our rule. So we've got negative 2 x to the negative 3. Then we write root 5 times, and we bring the power down a half. We write x, we reduce the power by 1. And then we do a little bit of tidying. So 3 over 2 times negative 2 will be negative 3 x to the negative 3, plus, and then we've got root 5 times a half. So that's root 5 over 2, x to the negative a half. Okay? Right. Um, this one here, we've got brackets. We can't deal with that. We need to expand it. So we start by expanding. So we've got 2x cubed, okay, minus 7x squared, minus 6x plus 21. This is a nice question. There are no roots and there are no fractions. Okay, so we can differentiate straight away. 
we have got two times bring down the power so we've got three then we've got x and then we reduce the power by one and then we've got minus seven times bring down the power write x reduce the power by one so we we don't bother writing one do we then we've got minus six and then this is like having an invisible one there isn't it so bring down the power that's just one and then we've got x to the power zero which is one and the last one on the end is x to the zero and remember if we bring down the power zero that's going to be nothing so just tidying up we've got six x squared minus 14x minus x now you can go straight from this top line to that one that's absolutely fine when you differentiate but I was just trying to spell out what was going on with the constants. Okay? Right, last couple on this question. Okay. So, um, this one here. We've got brackets and we've got a root. Lovely. So, the easiest thing to do here is to convert this to a power of x and then expand out the brackets. Because expanding out those is not very pretty so it's the third root of x so it's x to the one third multiplied by 2x to the one minus seven okay so expanding out we've got x to the third times 2x to the one remember we add the powers so we've got 2x to the four thirds okay minus 7x to the third and now we're in a position where we can differentiate that so dy by the x will be 2 times, we bring the power down, we write x and we reduce the power by 1. Then we've got minus 7 times, we bring the power down, we write x, we reduce the power by 1. And then we tidy up. So you can see when we've got horrible fractional powers and things, it is easier to write out what's going on with those numbers. You can do it in your head if you're confident. So that will give us 8 thirds x to the third minus 7 thirds x to the minus 2 thirds. Okay? Right, when you have a fraction, that is pretty much the same as having buckets. Yep. Yeah? So do you remember when you've got more than one term in an algebraic fraction, you put buckets around it and you treat it like it's in buckets. Okay, so this is the same as having 1 over x cubed multiplied by... 5x squared minus 7. Okay, and let's write 1 over x cubed as x to the negative 3. Okay, and then we can multiply out those brackets and then we can differentiate. Okay, so we've got 5 times we add the powers x to the minus 1 minus 7x to the minus 3. Okay, now we can differentiate. So Notice I've just been writing equals, 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 because they're all equal y, but now this does not equal y, so I have to write dy by the x. So I've got 5 times, bring down the power, write x, reduce the power by 1. Minus 7 times, bring down the power, write x, reduce the power by 1, and then do some tidying. Okay. So that's all of the questions um, that are on basic differentiation, okay? The difference with the extension question is that it uses, um, it, it uses simplifying at the end, okay? So I'll do a separate video for that.